Oh, that's not this. I get an album for that. I really like Hawaiian shirts. I should have some guys from Oh my god. I'm about to send the invitation. I can send it. Someone can tell me not like this. Okay, now. Yes. Send it to me. We're gonna send it to. I should, I should probably change this into a sure translate, why not? Jeez. Jesus. Jesus. Background information. You are invited to a third party multi network channel. Oh, God. Without having to join. Yes. I 
think if I do this, I'm cursing. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Boom, boy. Boom, I'm boy. I'm not on the car one minute. Damn. Damn. No, that works too. Damn. Yeah, that one's burgundy. Oh, damn. Is it alright if you okay sure? Oh, yeah. 
Wait, what? Oh, what? What? There's a terms condition. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh <laughs> Boo Radley. Boo Radley. You know Press continue. Continue. Complete. Right? Isn't that what you're trying to say? Boy. Is that what you're trying to say, boy? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> There's so many freaking... Oh, Jesus. But I did. Learn more. Does anyone here know what an idiot salat is? Idiot salat. Idiot salat. Idiot salat. These children. There, his passions were encouraged, and he would find a love of drawing. New since a very young age, Stephen would use his art to communicate since childhood, not learning to speak until he was nine. He began drawing highly detailed and incredibly accurate portraits of things that he saw. <coughs> Stephen's talent, however, goes much further than just that. In 2009, he was flown over Tokyo for a mere 20 minutes, and upon his return to land, was able to draw a 10 meter. Oh, yeah, oh, so so sick. That Whoa. is. Yeah, I've seen that. Oh my 20 God. minutes. He just went up there for 20 minutes and saw that. That's unbelievable. But long oh, picture of the yeah, no, that's incredible. Number eight, Daniel Tennant. Facing terrible epileptic seizures as well as diagnosis of autism at the age of four, Daniel developed the ability to visualize and calculate numbers in his head. Daniel Tennant can calculate numbers on a massive scale. Once reciting pi from memory to the 22,514th decimal, a feat he accomplished on Pi Day to raise funds for the National Society for Epilepsy. As well as his amazing mathematical talent, Tamit is capable of Very learning important. languages at an unprecedented rate, learning Icelandic in just seven days. Daniel's form of autism is incredibly uncommon, even among other savants, as he is able to articulate his thoughts clearly. Number seven, Kim Peek. Oh, I know this guy. He's the, he's the, from Rain Man. He's the one from Rain Man. He, he's like the, the brain guy, right? Rain Man. Then he's like, he knows more than Google Kim or something. Peek, though you probably didn't know it. Born with severe brain damage, Kim's childhood doctor suggested his father send him to an institution and forget about it. As his developmental disabilities were thought to keep him from walking, let alone anything else. Kim's father didn't agree and returned home with his son. He does have problems. Walking and learning is difficult for him. However, he has the ability to read books two pages at once in roughly three seconds. He what? can read a book yep. two pages at the same time. A whole in three seconds. seconds. He has like, his like library. The library has uh, 16,000 books. He's read 9,000 books. Not just that, but he remembers everything he reads in them. Number six, Leslie Lemke. 
In an unfortunate twist of fate, Leslie Lemke was born with severe birth defects, ones that required the removal of his eyes. His birth mother gave him up for adoption, and it was at that point that one May Lemke took him in as one of her own at just six months of age. At age 16, Leslie displayed his hidden talent when May woke up in the middle of the night to find Leslie playing Tchaikovsky's Piano Concerto No. 1. Leslie had no musical training, but still managed to play flawlessly after just hearing the song one time. Leslie now plays all kinds of music, and just like he did with the Tchaikovsky piece, he needs only to hear it once. Number five, Tony DeVoy. Born premature and underweight, Tony DeVoy was hardly breathing. The doctors rushed to place an oxygen mask on him, unbeknownst to them at the time, that too much oxygen causes blindness. Couple blindness with slow physical development, then add in autism, and you have the challenges that Tony DeVoy faces every day. At age two, Tony sat down in front of a piano for the first time. Growing into music, he learned to play over 20 different instruments, including guitar, trumpet, and the ukulele. It's estimated that Tony has roughly 8,000 musical pieces memorized, which he learned all by ear. Number four, Jason Padgett. Though most people with savant syndrome are born with it, others can acquire it through severe trauma and brain injury, such as the case of Jason Padgett. After being brutally beaten during a mugging, Jason awoke the next day in the hospital. Oh, something was different. He now sees the world overlaid in complex mathematical formulas. Over time, he would begin to transcribe what he saw through drawings. These drawings took the form of intricate fractal form shapes and patterns. The neurologist took scans of his brain. What they found was his brain activated rarely used portions to compensate for the damaged areas. Number three, Orlando Sorrell. Orlando Sorrell was not born autistic or brain damaged, but rather known as an acquired savant. One day, Sorrell was playing baseball with some friends at age 10. Sorrell was struck in the left side of the head by a ball, but was able to finish the game. Figuring he was okay once his headache cleared, he never thought to seek medical attention. Sorrell came to find he developed a talent called calendar calculating, meaning he could tell you what day of the week any date fell on. Even more amazing, he could oh, tell you what the weather was like on that day where he was. So if you said, like, I tell my birthday, my birthday was April 24th of 1939, he would say it was Wednesday. Or whatever day it was. And he would tell you the, the, the weather. I know, dude, that's, that's like insane. Due to a head injury, he suffered when he was just a child. Alonzo Clemens lost much but in return gained a beautiful and magnificent talent. Determined by doctors to have an IQ of no higher than 40, Clemens was left to be seemingly emotionless, though his face would light up with joy with clay in his hands. You see, Clemens gained a gift of art. When he looks at an animal, he's able to create a sculpture of very fine detail using only his hands. His sense of touch is so accurate that he's even able to make these sculptures in the dark. Number one, Flo and Kay Lyman. Florence and Kathleen Lyman, also known as the Rain Man Twins, are said to be the only female autistic savant twins in the world. Even more impressive is the fact that they are the only pair of savant twins with the same talents. They have the ability of calendar calculation and can tell you what the weather was like, what a TV personality was wearing, and what they ate for nearly every day of their lives. The twins even went as far as to document what color clothing their favorite TV host wore, including Dick Clark from the $100,000 Pyramid. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you like, I saw an interview with them. Oh, there's the mean guy. <laughs>
mind works in mysterious ways. In the case of 55-year-old Kim Peek, this is truer than most. He's the world's most famous savant, a confounding mix of mental oh, this this guy's and brilliance. Richard, something wrong. Well, Richard Quest from Quest Means Business. Tell, what's that? Isn't this the interviewer of Richard Quest from Quest Means Business? I don't know. In CNN. Yeah, I think oh, yeah, he's yeah, yeah. He tells you the zip code and he tells him where it is. Okay. One zero 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 three. Where is that part? Lower East Side. Lower East Side. My office is at three zero three zero three. Where is that? Atlanta. Remarkable brain became the real life inspiration for the character of Raymond Buffett in the movie Raymond. It's a role. He read the telephone to his brother, they brought a deal with him with the movies. Let's go read the telephone book. They did. Right. Oh. So the waitress serves her. Her name is Sally Gibbs. He says, Sally Gibbs, Gibbs, Sally, 472 3749. He said, Your phone number. How do you know my phone number? Because you remember it. Well, that turned Dustin Hoffman and Oscar and brought worldwide attention to the phenomenon of the so called idiot savant. It doesn't work if you can't have to be spent about six hours or something. And the doctor says to him, he, he, so a doctor, he said, I'm going to try something. He said, what is 472 times 339? He said, oh, 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 oh. And he said the answer right away. He said, what is uh, 647,333 times 400? And he said the answer right away. He's got a calculator. The doctor got a calculator. The other guy took the way by the thing. He says, how much is the car? He says, how much is the car? He says, Bring your questions in on Wednesday, ladies and gentlemen. Bye. Oh my god, now that I'm partners, I'm going to try to see if I can block Korea or block any other country for that matter.
Oh my god. Where is it? Where's Korea? Is it Republic of Korea? Yes, look at that. Let's see if this works. Purple. Let me test it now. 